Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and that is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. These are some slightly schmutzy pieces of acetate cut from larger sheets of acetate that I may or may not attempt to use. I'm gonna, I'm planning on trying a geometric. I'm a little wounded today so my hands aren't working as well as usual. And I don't always, what is that? That is a rather large lump of something that does not belong. Anyway, so geometrics. Sort of squares and rectangles and stuff. I wanted to also show you guys. This is pretty cool. If I'd put a white layer of paint on and let this dry, I could probably create all kinds of cool patterns. But in the meantime, I'm just going to spread this paint. A layer of black paint made of Artist Loft and semi-gloss latex from Walmart. With my pouring recipe under the video, which is half deco, pouring medium, half flow troll, and then I use GAC 800 by Golden added to paint first and mix that up. About 20% GAC to paint and mix it thoroughly. It keeps the paint that's heavy after I've created an artwork from drying with cracks. And it works very well 99.9% .9 of the time. I did have a moment the other day when I poured a large silver moon. Well, it was probably actually Anita's metallic pearl white, but who's counting? So I'm not sure how I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, but I am going to start by adding some of, that's not what I wanted, so adding some of, yes, more of that Anita's white pearl. I'm going to try and go for some straight lines. Don't ask me why I needed to do that. I don't recall ever having done anything exactly like this before, and I'm not sure what I'm doing now. And that hurts my thumb to do that, so I'd probably be better off not. Ow. <laughs> yeah, my dog mistook my thumb for the knuckle on a chicken bone, <laughs> which I know is probably not a good idea to give them, and he probably won't ever get another one as long as he lives, because <laughs> he got my thumb. So that's pretty cool. I guess I'm done. No, um, so I want to play and see what happens with the cell, the cell factor as I use my Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula as a swipe tool. I'm going to throw my spatula, my bigger spatula is an OXO omelet turning spatula. I'm going to throw it in the bucket. They are available on my Amazon link. All of my links are below the link tree. It's labeled link tree. It's right below the video in case you're looking for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups. What else is there? There's even Sachi art there. There's my website. There's um, my Google. You could give me a Google business review if you were in a good mood, please. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm going to just keep experimenting until I feel like maybe it's time to pick up another tool. And that other tool will most likely be, I'm guessing, the possibility exists. I might use a, a modified basting brush. You never know what I'm going to do. You really don't. It's not very exciting so far, but it's not horrible either. Once I have residuals, or even residuals in my dish, I can take those and use them.
And I'm getting some interesting cells. I kind of wanted, I thought I might add some color, but I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with that until I got to the point where I could see what the black and white were doing. And whatever this is, is probably going to be a background for something else. Something else being whatever comes next. Now I can definitely go all the way across. Sometimes I just like black and white. And a lot of times I just love texture. And I'm kind of having a good time and I'm also not hating what, what's happening. Because I'm getting every kind of shade of gray and I like that. Now, there's nothing to keep me from using my spatula. And pouncing it. This always reminds me of city streets. I've done these before, something similar. And I'm not saying that everybody would be as lucky as I, I get, but I think of myself as a powerful manifester. Uh, I just have a lot of practice and I trust my instincts. So maybe I'll just call this good, a fairly good black and white, and do another geometric some other way. Because this is kind of cool. I kind of want to spread some black, I mean some gold. I'm just going to add a few marks to fill in. I'm going to try and remember to lift my spatula so I don't drag paint with me. And I'm going to try really hard to keep my lines at 45 degrees. Although I could just change that right now because I said that. So I have a book, it's called Because I Can. And that's why I'm doing this. And I hope it doesn't, s I just, I hope it turns out well. I have another book right next to the first one that's on the Amazon link and it's called Unlimited Possibilities, which is kind of why I do stuff. So I think it's still a geometric. It might be a little more complicated now than it needs to be. And I can certainly swipe things. Once I've gone too far, or it feels like I've gone too far, sometimes it's just time to go further still. I got some really neat cells in a few places, but not like massive overdoses of them or anything. And I've got a lot of interesting marks that aren't very geometric at all, and that's okay. That's what makes it look more organic. So, new plan, no colors. I do sell my artwork, by the way. I think I mentioned that in most videos. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I appreciate it when you guys give me a thumbs up, and I love your comments. Thank you so much. You keep my morale boosted. If you're interested in helping keep me support, the, if you help, if you want to help make videos, you can make a donation through PayPal or Patreon. You can also find those links underneath the link tree. And if you're looking for what the monthly prizes are that you'll be eligible for in the monthly drawing, as somebody who's participating in don't making a donation, you should look on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for Syllabats L, my other YouTube channel. I'm going to assume that I'm going to be putting this on Phoenix Rising for Syllabats L art, but I do change my mind about things sometimes. So whichever station, whichever channel you're seeing this on, just know that there are prizes there is a drawing in the third week of, or at the end of th the uh, third week in every month. And you can always find out what they are 
You could donate blindly, and I would send you a receipt that would show you what they are. Or you can go and check out the exhibition video on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Priscilla Batsell Art. And if you do that, go to the... You'll find the video on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of any other video. I really wish I had a really little, tiny... Ooh, there, like that. I wonder what that'll do. It'll drag some new lines. Very gently. I actually have some other cool stamping tools. There we go. There's one of them. So if I take this, I might want to do a few checkerboards. They're not really checkerboards. They're just, um, they just add a little interesting texture to things. I'm going to use that white right there. Cool. I like added texture. In for a penny, in for a pound. Ouch, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, ouch. Alright, I'm almost done, I think. I mean, there's really always the possibility of adding dots, isn't there? <laughs> Do I have any small enough... Do I really want to do that? That's the question. It's a tre oh, I do. I like that. It's a trepidatious, risky business at best. Oh, I got another one by accident. That's okay. I don't know that I need to go like full tilt. But I'd like to have enough things to, enough dots to just move the eye around, sort of draw you in a little bit. If I move the, the bottle tip off, this is different. Quick enough, I don't get my extra dot because there's really no way to get rid of them easily. I think that's pretty balanced. I'm moving it around to see if, I'm, if I agree with myself. I kind of want to put some more white lines in there. Because I know the Anita's metallic pearl is just very sheer. But if I risk more lines, I'm probably not going to be level anymore. The second white that I used is a lot stronger, so I could actually use it, dip it, dip my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula number one, and put it stuff, put it places like that. And it's sort of like doodling with paint, you know? You just got to do it and see what happens. The more you often you do it, probably the better you'll get at it. I kind of want to take some of that. Where is some? I just had it right there. <gasps> yeah, that doesn't happen often. That's that thumb issue. Fortunately, I didn't do much harm. Good thing, too. All right, there's a lot going on in there, but it's uh, it's been fun having you guys. Check out Priscilla Batsell. Check out Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batsell ch channel for 1,460 videos on playlists organized by the hundred and by the genre. And uh, there's still plenty of cool stuff here. I'm going to touch up around my edges with black, but not I'm not going to make you wait for that. And I've got two minutes left to tell you guys. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all this time. Definitely look for the PayPal or Patreon icons either on the channel header or on the link tree underneath uh, the video. My paint pouring recipe, as I mentioned before, is under the video. You can find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links on the link tree link. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I, I told you I sent my artwork. 
I could be really happy just putting uh, Purple Flash from Folk Art in here everywhere and I bet it would be fabulous. And I might do that another time because once you add it to the black, it changes the color to another color yet. So I wasn't sure this was going to happen, but it's kind of cool and I enjoyed myself. So thank you for joining me. Can't trust me. I'm never done till I'm done. All right. So one weird mark. There's lots of weird marks. I love you guys. Uh, check out all of your other subscribers, friends at uh, Expressionist Art Studio Priscilla Batzell Art. There's 80, going on 88,000 of them. There's a whole 515 of you here today, but um, if you're not subscribed and you want to do me a favor, please subscribe. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.